Okay, so I just wanted to explain real quick um, about the Martian knowledge and Zen setup. So just to look at the set for the Martial knowledge, while your stamina is below 15%, then your light attacks cause the enemy to take more damage every 8 seconds for 5 seconds. So that means you can have up to 5 dots going at one time. Okay, so you'll want to have one of your staff set up um, for one of the dots with a flame damage glyph. You can also make this infused if you choose. And you'll want your other one to be set up with poison damage. Um, I just have this Zens on one bar and then body the martial knowledge so that it's more likely to proc that because it's only a five second long, whereas the Zens lasts for 20 seconds. So what you need is very important with this rotation is you need to make sure that you keep up your light attacks. So I happen to just have this staff as the one that um, I have decked out for this because I have this specifically made for vast front kiting, um, but you do I don't have to have the um, the regen on here because I'm mostly just using it for the enchant. Um, if you want to, you can take off Circle of Protection, which I'm using to um, keep the my stam nice. It's my favorite way to do it um, for the martial knowledge. You can take that off and put one of your dots on there, and then have. Um, the regen on so you can keep that it's a nice heal especially since you don't have that many heals happening um, so there's a couple ways you can proc the martial knowledge as you'll see my stam if I hit that twice it goes down below 50 another way and then you'll see the icon um, at, on the top it lasts for five seconds it's that blue one right there another way to get it down um, is to bash so I'll wait till my stam goes back up so you can see that so before you get started if you want to just do like three bashes it'll get you down and then it procs that another way that you could do it um, to get your stam down if you don't have a circle or another stamina ability slotted is you can dodge roll twice and that'll get you way down or you can dodge roll and bash whatever works for you so there's many ways to get your stam down if you don't want to use a um, skill on your bar so if you'll notice on my bar I do not have elemental drain on that's definitely a must if you have any magicka in your group it's even nice for the tink um, but you'll want to make sure that your healing partner is using Ellie drain or if you happen to have one of your tanks doing it that's totally fine too two is always better but um, if you can't really fit it on your bar then that's something you can take off I wouldn't take off blockade just because it helps with the off balance and procking your enchant so the reason I chose to put my poison enchant on this bar was because it'll pretty much keep it up all the time um, with the blockade down so it'll keep procking it you can't really watch that on the dummy but It'll keep it up as nicely as possible. Okay, so just to go over um, real quick, uh, let's look at the, the Zen thing again. And um, for my bar, you can, I'll show you also, you can um, switch out the regen. Just to show you what the stats look like. Uh, this is without a any potion on. I happen to have the Lady Mundus on right now because that's just what I use for front kiting bass. The only difference I would really do on here with um, front kiting bass is I would take off combat prayer and I would put on the rune, the channeled focus. And um, I would also take off blockade and put back on the regeneration. So I really like using that up there. So I would put back on this guy. 
Okay, so if you can see with the Zens, you can, um, it procs with the light attack. So you can see up on the top right corner that green symbol. So that lasts a long time. So just look real quick at your skill timing. This will help you with your rotation. So this is eight seconds, Vamp Bane 16. Um, circle of protection is 18, doesn't really matter too much. Um, and protect your damage to free, or you can use degeneration. I just have it this way for front kiting. Um, this is 12 seconds. The illustrious is 12 seconds. Uh, this is for the front kiting. I usually have on solar prison for the maim, or um, you can put on barrier for the regen. Don't really need it so much. On your back bar, extended ritual is 20 seconds, so you can do this every other rotation. Um, shock reach lasts for 10. You can see the dot lasts for 10. Blockade is 14. Orb is 10. And your power of the light is 6. So this will fall off a little bit. So generally I try and do a 10 second rotation. So if you're using circle of protection, you slap that down twice. And then I start with these light attacks. see um, that your, when your stamina gets down that you can use circle or too high you can use circle again and then you're going to need to do a heavy attack every once in a while to keep up your mending anyway so you'll just be a little bit behind with your dots but as you if you watch the dummy for the buffs and deep, or for the debuffs on it then you can see that we're pretty much keeping up martial knowledge and zens most of the time so you just have to light attack please. this is comes much easier for the dps but if you keep martial knowledge on the body it should be up longer That's what you basically do for that rotation. So I have to wait till this goes out of combat. And then if you wanted to instead do um, with the regen, which is another option, then this is my usual button for that guy. You can also use Soul Splitting Trap and you can also use Scalding Rune. Okay, so let's say this one lasts for 36 seconds, but the dot itself is only 14. So you'll still want to cast it every rotation. You don't need to get as on it like DPS do. So this is another option. So in order to get um, my stamina down, I do want to dodge roll and I can bash and then I want to start on this bar. I didn't need the warhorn. Awesome lag. throw in a bath or a dodge roll. Dodge roll does take a lot of stamina unless you have a lot of your CP into it. And then you need to do heavy attack from time to time. This 
so you can see that's why I like the circle of protection a little bit more. Keeps a little bit easier to keep that up. You can see my martial knowledge is not up as good as it would be previous with the um, circle on. rotation when you have the dot rotation going on. And you don't have to throw in regeneration. I just like to do that to keep it consistent. Okay. So that's pretty much the Zen's and martial knowledge rotation in a nutshell. If you feel like you need more magic of recovery, you can. Definitely doesn't seem to be too much of an issue in content. This is with a potion on. I'll show you the stats with the potion on. Um, but like I said, I have the lady. So if you feel like you need more, you can come use the Atronach if you want to, or you can use the apprentice for spell damage and put on more mag recovery stuff. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Let me know if you <laughs>